hello i welcome you whole heartedly to my channel and in this video we're going to create the 3d model of a knuckle joint so let's start first i'll select a rectangle i'll specify the base point and i'll give the length as 150 and the breadth as 60 then i'll choose a circle command I'll specify the base point, center point as the midpoint of this line segment. Here, radius will be 30. Again, a circle command. Center will be same. I'll give the radius now as 60. Now I'll choose a rectangle command again. Here, I'll specify the first point, this one, and I'll give the length as 100 and the width as 30. Here, I'll simply copy this one, this rectangle, I'll specify the base point, and here, done. I'll simply enter this. And now I'll trim off the unnecessary parts. Just enter again to select the hole. Okay. Then I'll simply trim the, trim these lines. This one, this one, this one too, and these two. Done. Now this one is done, and now we'll again select a rectangle. specify the first point length will be this time 200 and the breadth is 60 again I'll select the circle command I'll choose the midpoint as the center point radius will be 50 so done now again I'll trim the uh, middle objects in this circle so I'll choose the trim command enter I'll select these lines and enter I can erase this simply erase one more arc left I will again choose the trim command and this one enter done now I'll press the shift and the scroll key to 3d orbit here then I'll press pull this figure by a distance of 200 and now I'll select this and I'll copy this I need a copy of this that's why I'll copy here enter now I need to rotate it through an angle of 90 degrees so I'll give 3d rotate command rotate and I'll select this red one and I'll specify the angle as 90 degrees and done now I'll extr extrude it again or press pull it through a distance of 200 units now I'll choose the move command and I will select this object first give the move, move command I will select the base point as the center of this line like, like this and I will overlap it on the center point of this line here now again I'll select this object and give move command I'll select the base point and here done 
it should be perpendicular okay now i'll give the intersect command so that the intersection of these two figures will be only left and the rest will be erased okay so i'll give the intersect command and select these objects and give enter and hit done now it's done i'll erase these lines i don't need them again now i'll simply select select erase this one to erase now i need to press pull this figure so i'll press pull select through a distance of 60 and done now i'll fillet the edges so i'll choose the fillet command i'll specify the radius first and the radius will be 50 okay then i'll select the edge give it and i'll select the edge now again this edge i'll again shift plus scroll button down select these two edges zoom out select this edge too this one give me enter at this we have to create the holes so for that i'll select the circle command so i'll go to circles i need to create a circle here i'll select circle i'll select the center point this one and the radius 25 here to center radius 25 done now i'll press pull it in order to create the holes but first i'll select again the circle here to 25 radius done again circle command for here 25 radius done now i'll press pull it this and just click done here to same click done and here I'll select this one too then I'll extrude it through a distance of 60 to enter again here I'll extrude it by a distance of 25 Done. Now I'll go to the top view. I'll zoom in. Again, I'll create a rectangle. Sixty length and fifteen breadth. And here, now I need to fill it. I'll select the radius as 15 units for the filleting. So I'll select the edges, this edge and this one. Done. So in order to create full 3D structure, I'll give the 3D revolve command. Revolve, sorry. I'll select and revolve. I'll select the specified first point, base point. and this and give the angle as 360 done enter now i need to rotate it to an angle of 180 degrees so i'll just select it and i'll rotate it i'll rotate it an angle of 180 degrees so 
now done now i'll move this i'll move i'll select the move command and specify the center point as the base point and i'll select here now i'll co copy this to all the edges copy i'll specify the center point base point and here and i'll copy 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 here enter now what i need to do is i will subtract this one fit this figure from the major figure so i'll select subtract i'll select the first object enter select the sec, uh, other objects other minor objects and yes and give enter and here again i'll subtract i'll select the major enter give the minor also this and enter this one done too now i'll now i need to create the cylinder i'll select the world and cylinder radius is 25 and the height is 145 but in order to see the height i'll again shift press uh, press the scroll button i'll specify the height as 145 and here again i'll choose the front front view and again i'll select the cylinder command radius is now 35 and the height is 12 here again i'll uh, choose the command circle uh, cylinder this point it is 35 and length is 10 in order to create the hole again i will choose circle command and select the center point 25 radius again i'll press pull this press pull this done now i need to assemble these all part parts i have created the parts now it's time to assemble them So first I'll rotate it. Okay, I'll rotate it by an angle of 90 degrees, like this. Okay. And again I have to rotate it. So I'll select this purple one. Purple one. Yes, and I'll rotate it by an angle of 180 degrees. One eighty degrees. Again, I'll rotate it. it. Didn't happen. Now it rotated. So I need to move it. So I'll select move command. I specify the base point, and I will select the other point as the center of this circle. And here, this one joined. now i will rotate it first i'll give the command union for this and this to i'll give command union and i'll select the objects enter done now i'll select it and i will give 3d rotate command i'll select the red one and i'll give an angle of 90 degrees done now again i'll move it select I'll, i'll select it first and i'll move base point and i'll the other point is center of this circle and here done now i'll select this and here this is done too so this 
is created finally again I will select it I will give the union command I will select the objects and enter now it is a whole object created I can move it so I can erase these lines these two I can simply erase if you want to change the color simply double click on it double click on it and you can change the color and that's all thank you